What is going on, you guys? Welcome back to the For Us podcast, the podcast for you. And for us. How you feeling? How you live it? Did you just do a tongue? You have something here, too. Mm. Black one. In the middle? Uh, Side one. Green tooth. Black tooth. You know, my, my sister and I growing up, we used to do, like, if someone had something in their tooth, mm -hmm. you just say, like, green tooth. You don't, like, tell them that there's something in their teeth. Really? Politely. Just say green tooth, and you just, then you just know. Sorry. Hey. Baby, those noises are absolutely insane. <laughs> You're going to have to do that on your own time. You got it? No one, no, no, it's still there, and you need to stop with all that. Okay, well, you intro to the pod. No, bruh. Okay, well, Josh gets something out of his teeth. What should we address? Should we address the elephant in the room? Well, actually, I guess if you guys watch the vlogs, it's not even an elephant in the room that we're in a new location. We're low-key always in a new location filming, I feel like, because we've been traveling so much. It's really been, like, for us. <laughs> Josh is still going. It's really been, like, for us on the road, which has been fun. But it feels really good to actually be able to just sit down and film and it's actually hilarious now that that's coming out of my mouth because all I ever do is sit down and film. <laughs> Josh, you guys know he's the tech guy. He's the professional. He's the one that like sets up everything. I will lend a helping hand, but I just don't really know the things and he knows the things. So anyways, we're in our house and it's really nice because we can literally just walk in here. Josh doesn't have to take an extra like 30 minutes if even more sometimes like trying to figure out a new space that we're going to film in and it's are you okay because <laughs> I honestly can't focus because all I hear is that junk that junk's still there you're just gonna have to leave it I can't Ribby stop with the noises anyways so we're grateful that we have this space now in our house to be able to just shoot and not have to take an extra however long to set up and also tear it out. The next elephant in the room. Well, there's what? a few. Next one. Hmm. My belly is hanging out of my shirt. Let's get into it. What do you guys feel about a pregnant woman showing their belly? Because this is actually a controversial topic. It is? I just saw something. Maybe it was TikTok. I can't remember. Who's making the comments? Men? Just saying, like, why do pregnant women think it's okay to show their belly? Or, like, go out of their house with their belly? Some of y'all be coming out of the house with y'all belly uh, regardless. and I know. So that's what's so crazy to me because I think the fact that, like, we're pregnant, it obviously draws more attention, you know, that, like, my belly's out because it's like, okay, clearly I have a belly. I'm pregnant. I have a baby in my belly. And then if I wasn't pregnant, I guess it's just, like, less noticeable. And it's more, I don't know. But some people have a problem with women showing their pregnant belly but those same people better also have a problem with a non-pregnant woman showing her belly. Because oh. then it makes sense. Because if they if they just have a problem in general, like they, you know, like modesty and they don't want any women to show their belly, then that's fair. You're entitled yeah, to Yeah, I'll that. give them that one. But if it's just specifically pregnant women shouldn't show their bellies, but non-pregnant women can show their bellies, I'm like, nah. that doesn't really add up. That's wild. But I actually anyways. never knew that was controversial. I'd be liking your belly out. I know you do, but. It's just a belly. We all got one. Well, what's crazy, though, is if I'm not pregnant, I'm not going to have my belly out like this. I'll wear, like, a high-waisted with, like, a little bit of my, like, midriff showing, but I never wear low-waisted pants. Mm. But since I'm pregnant, it's the most comfortable thing for me, so I feel like this is my only time to have my belly out. I love it. It's summertime, belly out, buns out. It's not summertime. It's, <laughs> it's about to be summertime. I know. It's actually crazy. When you guys are watching this, we are in Hawaii. We're being there for a month. Being there. Being there. Can we say we're moving there? I mean, I don't care. It's I'm like saying that. It's a temporary relocation. Temporary relocation for Lily a month. Yeah. So it's like, take that and do what you want with it. Yeah. Are you excited about that? I'm so excited. I dream. hope we're living our dreams right now. I mean, it's only like day two, I think, when we're there. We're actually on our first day there, so. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I'm really excited. I feel like... Definitely. I mean, ideally, if I could do that before I moved anywhere, mm. go there for a month and just get what it would feel like to live there. That's like the perfect sample mm. of trying to figure out if you would like to live there. Yeah. Yes and no, though, because we know we're going to Hawaii for a month. And so it's like, are we I do want to give it routine. I want to like get groceries in the house. I want to live our normal life to a certain extent. But then it's also like, OK, we know this is only for a month, so we have to live it up. And, like, 
do all the things, see all the things we want to do. But if we were actually moving there, we wouldn't feel right. Like, oh my gosh, we have to like go go see all these things and do all this stuff. Yeah. Um. But I honestly don't even know if we'll feel like that. I I have no expectations. I for know this. you don't I even just, know anything. I know nothing. I just do know you that. Do know what island we're going to? No. Oahu. Oahu North Shore area, which is actually on Honolulu, I think. See, the fact that I don't even know. But, yeah, I think Honolulu. No, I'm excited about that. I'm excited just to switch up the location for work because we're going to be working still while we're there, shooting mm-hmm. some podcasts. It's just like life isn't going to well, stop. Well, even just like vlogs and stuff, like it just kind of changes like the pace and the vibe. of. Yeah, our I'm excited vibe. to see what that content is going to look like because I, I don't vis- – I, I have a notes app of like ideas and like titles and stuff like that, but I don't – I don't know what's going to happen. We'll see. But I'm excited. Um, Fresca's making an appearance today. Oh, my gosh. I literally love Fresca. Am I the only one that likes Fresca? I don't know. I it's, feel like that's it's, shocking that that's still around. I just kind of feel like no one's ever drinking Fresca, and no one ever has Fresca, like, stocked in their fridge. But you one thing do. about me, I You're do. You're going to have a Fresca stop. Stop. You guys, don't stocked. sleep on Fresca. It's actually so good. But I know it has, what does it have in it? Oh, it has like a. Sp- it's a too spart- strong for me. That junk instant burn. It has a spartame in it, which is like a really bad sweetener for you. A spartame. People will probably say I shouldn't be drinking this while I'm pregnant, but. And we got a uh, lip gloss making an appearance today too. Why are you not acknowledging the main appearance? <laughs> I wasn't thinking about this. Can y'all see that? I don't even know if y'all can see that. Well, I'll show y'all on mine. This was given to me. Well. It, I've had this since I was obviously this age, but my dad had it in storage and he just gave it to me. It's a coaster. Do you remember that moment in time? I don't remember this moment, like this exact, like taking this picture. You don't remember? No, I remember. Yeah. Wait, but what what exactly are you asking? Yeah. Like, do you remember that, that day? No. You don't? I don't remember this day. How old were you right there? Um... I have no clue. Okay. Probably One thing about fifth, Josh, sixth grade. Guys, I'm not going to know. He has no, like, time. And I go by grades. I don't even go by age. Yeah, he doesn't know how old he was or what any Like, t- what any age is time. college? Like, what age is high school? High school, you graduate when you're 18. Okay. I started at 18, maybe. Maybe. But, yeah, but that makes me feel like I'm 28. I'm 28? Or am I 27? You are I'm 27. 28. I'm 28. No, you're 27. Wait, how old are we? <gasps> no, you're 28. <laughs> Whoa, I just got so scared. Also, whenever someone asks me my age, I literally freeze up because yeah. I forget how old I am. Whoa, so I'm 28? Yes. Okay, I yeah, that makes me feel like if you graduated high school at 18. Yeah, we've been, our 10 our year reunion is this year. That's crazy. You trying to go with me, stun on all the shorties? That would we ain't stunning on I would people. love to go with you to yours, but we, we would have to literally get on a flight for that. Yeah, why, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't we? I'm just saying. People don't get on flights for theirs? Maybe no. I ain't I, trying to go to yours. Yours seems lame. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not trying to go to mine. Really? I don't really? I don't think a 10-year high school reunion is like that. Oh, I don't know. I would just go for like, I don't know, it's 2024. Let's just do something no, different in life. No, I would go too. Like, yeah. why not vibes? But I'm not like pressed slash I'm definitely not getting on a flight to go there. Yeah. Like, if we didn't live where I went to high school, I well, would Well, okay, we would make even... it a trip. We would, like, make it something okay. to go to Michigan. To be fair, yours, like, would make sense because your family's in Michigan, and it wouldn't be crazy. We have friends there to, yeah. for us to go visit there. Yes. But if you lived anywhere else, we would not just go there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Definitely. Well, if we lived somewhere else that wasn't... Well, I guess regardless... If we wherever... lived, like, if I'm from... Florida, I would go. Well, no, I was just going to say, regardless, wherever you went to high school, you probably have family or, oh, I guess not necessarily. Not necessarily. Yeah. Anyways, I don't think a high school reunion is worth getting on a flight for. Anyways, I was saying all the things that make an appearance, because I see the chapstick has made an appearance, and we had a talk. What is this? Lip gloss. Yes, that's lip gloss. We had this talk with our friends um, when we were in Dallas, and she put me on the spot and said... Or I forgot who it was. One of the two, they were just like, Josh, do you wear chapstick? No, I forget how it got. Oh, it got brought up. Do y'all wear chapstick? Yes. And I was such a broad question. No, it was was just directed at you because obviously I wear lip gloss and chapstick. It's not obvious. There has to be some women who Baby, I literally had, Kyra was like, you have lip gloss on. Like, she knew. Okay, well, anyway. So she was asking you. We're bringing this conversation to the pod because I don't wear chapstick y'all i wish we actually could have just like had 
that conversation recorded so you guys could listen to it because it's actually so funny. And everyone was getting the ick at the table because I didn't don't wear chapstick. Maybe because for starters, I've always tried to tell you that this is a strange thing mm-hmm. and that I would absolutely panic. I I panic if you accidentally forget my lip gloss. Yeah, you do. And like I need it before I go to bed. Like my lips just can't be out here in the air. I don't I truly think that there is a group of people and I want to start a support group um, of us who we don't use chapstick because I don't feel like I don't need it. Now, growing up, my lips definitely I had lip skin sometimes chat yeah. like, but it's never been to a point where I need it. And also I'm a texture guy. I stop licking. <laughs> That's where I, why Rayella licks her lips. No, Rayella doesn't lick her lip. Right. That's another thing we're talking about the ring around. Yeah. Um, But I like my lips. That's a comfort thing, but it also helps moisturize. Well, that's why Rye does it. Rye doesn't. Rye, Wait, Rye licks is, her. Rye, Rye, is Rye does it because Rye's a baby. But that's what you do too. You just make it look a little bit more like sexy. I don't make it look sexy. It's just like it's just. Well, yeah, you I just do. need like a tiny. <laughs> I just need a tiny <laughs> little moisturize. I'm just. That's saying, my chapstick. If you were going all over your lips, I would be like, ugh. Yeah, like, bro, what are you doing? But Rye's a baby. She doesn't know how to do it like gracefully. Anyways, I don't like the texture of chapstick. I don't like, uh, I don't know. It's a texture thing, and I feel like that's a that's a word. I too. want you to just try to put this on. No, actually, this one is tinted. I can just kiss you and just call it a day. No, but I don't like. It's not that I won't do it, but I just don't need it, and I don't want to do it. Well, I don't think you really know what you're missing. No, I do know what I'm missing. Like my lips are just like fine without them. It actually like. I like just got a little bit of chills on the backs of my arms thinking about it because I don't wear. But okay, but I they, can't I f- imagine I if like, I was you. I feel like if it's it's one thing if you look at my lips and you're like no, you're, they're dry as a bone. Well, yeah, that's then you whole, can get the ick because no, no. it's like, bro, you need some chapstick. No, that's a different issue. That's like okay, you have a problem and you actually need to use it. And if you won't, then you have an issue. I know. So why are you getting the ick? No, I don't. The my, ick, I don't need it. The ick isn't like at you. I'm not icked by you. I'm oh, just okay. icked for you because oh, nice. I know what it's like. To have my lips feeling like I really need some lip gloss, and I and if I don't have some, yeah, it can actually like ruin my mood. But I don't need any though. That's the thing. I know, but I think you do, but you just don't know that. And what is what is needing some? It's just like it's really, it's just a, it's a feeling. Well, anyways, please somebody let me know if y'all don't wear chapstick or lip gloss because. We don't, I don't need it. No, yeah. I mean, I, I feel like there are probably more men than women that don't wear chapstick. Mm-hmm. I would say, but I don't know if that's fair to say, but I don't know. For me, it's, I guess it's essentially the same thing as what you're saying. It's a texture thing and a feeling like my lips aren't, when I need chapstick or like lip gloss, my lips aren't necessarily chapped. Mm-hmm. I just need it. Yeah. <sighs> Well, I look like a Skittle today, so that's fun. You do. You're, you know that zipper's broken on that jacket? I don't need you to tell me that. It's not actually broke. It's just I either have to wear it all the way zipped or unzipped. Well, the pulley's gone. No, it's not. It's, it's right down No, it, the pulley's gone on that one. Baby, tell them what we're doing today. I love you. I was just letting you know. I love you too. Don't zip it. I like it. No, I'm not zipping. I like it undone. Oh, then what are you doing? I'm just playing with it. Oh, okay. Did I make you nervous? Tell the people of America what we are doing on the For Us podcast today. today. We're going to put Josh in the hot seat. And I'm going to give my two cents, too. I'm just kidding. Oh, nice. I mean, no, I can if I have something to say. No, we're going to ask Josh some things that basically men are just, like, too afraid to address. I feel like this is perfect for you to do because I feel like you're not afraid to talk about certain things. No. And... You'll just like kind of speak your mind and you don't care if people agree or disagree or whatever. And so I think this is good. I'm excited. I think we've done something similar to this. I think it was when I was talking about porn, but I think we just stuck on the porn situation for the whole entire episode. Yeah. So now, well, I mean, we'll see. I don't know where this episode is going to go, but I'm excited to hear what questions you're going to ask me. Okay. Why don't men want or like to get a vasectomy? Like Josh is willing to do for Sav. Oh, oh, because I am willing. You are willing. I don't know. I mean, I feel like that's such a loaded answer for me. 
I mean, I can give like the answer of women go through so much already as it is, bro. The least you can do is just go get snip snip. Um, do you think some men low key are thinking we go through the same thing? No, thinking like if God forbid one day they want to have kids with someone else. I don't know. Maybe they are thinking that. Because for me, low key, you getting a vasectomy is like, yeah, you. If you ever leave me, bro, you it's reversible get, though. It's not always effective if it's if it's. I know. Reversed. I'm just saying it's reversible though. But no, like if even if you reverse it, sometimes it doesn't work. But it is reversible. Yeah, but it still may not work. Well, I just, but the thing is that that could benefit you it being reversible is what I'm saying. Benefit me? If we, if I get one and you want to have kids. No, no, in like I, 10 no years. I'm saying like if the husband left the wife hmm. or whatever, yeah. and then they want to kids with someone else. Yes, no, yeah. So yeah. I'm, I'm curious, uh, sorry, this is just a side note, but I'm curious if, if some women are like, I want my husband to get a vasectomy so they could never have kids with anyone else. That's crazy. Well, yeah, doing it key. at, doing it because you're forced to do it is. That's well, another yeah. thing. That's crazy. For sure. I, I think it should definitely be like a mutual. I would never be like, babe, you have to go get a vasectomy. Mm. And that's it. Like, that's, that's just that. Yeah. Because you would never force me to go have my tubes tied. No. It's I mean, it's essentially the same thing. I think it's just more popular for men to have a vasectomy because, like you said, women birth the children. They go through all the things. Right. And so it everyone's like, oh, it's the least you could do. If you guys are done having kids and you don't want a chance of another baby, that's the least, like, the, the man could do. Yeah, I mean, for me, I don't want to have any more kids after baby, this not, third one. But wait, you're not getting a vasectomy after the third one, though, baby. I know, because of, <laughs> I would I want to. I know, but you're not. Yeah, <laughs> but I don't want to have any more kids. Yeah. So I am, because, and I love to be intimate with my wife in in um in other ways and I don't want to be having no mistakes and when it comes to birth control and stuff I, that stuff makes you feel a certain type of way hormones all those things I don't want you to have to go through that yeah so let me just shoot some blanks maybe okay first of all that's crazy to say Chilling. second but like you said I know it's reversible but say in seven years we're like we want another baby. Yeah. And then we're like, wait. Unfortunately, I mean, I can't speak oh, yeah, for you the can't. future. So, I yeah, don't so want another baby in seven yeah, years. So unfortunately, unfortunately, you can't speak for the future. So unfortunately, <laughs> that's it. Do you want flowers too or is that weird? If you do want, if you do want flowers, what's like the equal of flowers for you? Like, or if you don't want flowers, what would be like an equal of flowers? Um, me personally, no, I don't want flowers. I know. I, I no, know. Fl flowers aren't going to do anything for me. And honestly, I feel like flowers don't really do anything for you. I love flowers. I know you do. But I'm saying like for women, it's like, w at what point do we stop giving y'all flowers? No, I, I really like well, them. Y'all like flowers? Okay. Yeah. So well, I. You bring me some tulips. I like tulips. Tulips? Really? Is that your favorite flower? No, I just saw someone post that their husband got them tulips. And I'm yeah. like, those are really pretty. I would love to have some tulips on my counter. That's cute. I, I saw that exact same post. And I yeah. thought about you when I saw that too. Yeah. It's crazy. Uh, I should have went to the store earlier. Yeah, I'll be back. <laughs> okay, no. Um, me personally, I do not want any flowers. Doesn't do anything for me. Um, after water them, grow. That's too much work. Don't need them. Well, it's What's, just so I, like. I was. I mean, just, it, 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 <laughs> no, I was thinking like in our marriage. If I were to buy you flowers, of course I'm just gonna put them in the vase. I'm gonna do the whole yeah, thing. I mean, it's been cool. I I did theater growing up and I got flowers. After a show. After yeah, a show cool. or something like and that's fine like that, but I know what they're trying to ask. Um what's, what's your equivalent? equivalent? Yours is like donuts or something. Cuz I'm not I'm always in the mood for donuts. You could oh, always like take a good flower, right? True, that's true. So like for me, my equivalent is a new pair of shoes. <laughs> yeah, I guess Wait, some sort of It's the kids outside okay, playing. Okay. Um, I guess low key, it's like, hey, babe, go play basketball. Baby, I let you play basketball. No, I know. Her. But like, I feel like that's my flowers. OK, I'm just trying to think of something that just finds that I find joy with like individual time. Like yeah, something it's kind of that kind of like fills you up. Yeah, it's kind of hard to think. Yeah. Sorry. There's a kid outside playing and they're having the time of their life. Um, I feel like I can't. Yeah, I, I knew that about you, that you're not a flower guy. You would just be like, I don't think you'd be 
offend or like you wouldn't be a type of way if I got you flowers, but it would just not be the right gift for you. Yeah, for but me, some it's men, like maybe. I guess I guess yeah. For me, it's just here. Go have some personal time and go do this. Yeah, I feel like that's my uh, that's my flowers. flowers. I should have bought you flowers. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Did Josh get the proposal scaries? Did I get the proposal Were you scary? double guessing when it was time to propose? No, if anything, I was more nervous that it was like everything was going to run smooth- smoothly. Um, let's backtrack. Actually, I don't think I ever had the proposal scaries. I'm not even going front. No, I didn't personally. Just, like you never had a second um, guess that I want yeah, to marry you. That's I think that's no. what the scary. Yeah, I think that's what is. they're asking too. Yeah, not one chance. I wanted to do it. There was no if ands or buts about it. I just wanted you to be my. I wanted you to be my girl, girl. That's really sweet. I love you. I love you too, girl. Okay, we moving through these. Okay, does it get hard being the provider and protector of the family, like mentally or emotionally draining? If so, what do you do, or who do you talk to for help? You know what's crazy? I've been thinking about this lately. Really. Because as life goes on, as we, as our kids get older, as we bring another child and just as, you know, just things are happening in life, you start to think about me personally. I just been starting to think about so much stuff that has to happen and so much stuff that someone has to be responsible for. And I can't put all that weight on you because you're over here being an amazing mother and I'm not about to complain or like there be moments and I wonder if any other dudes do this but there be moments where I'm doing something maybe around the house and I'm doing it and I'm like I don't feel like doing this right now I say that mentally but then another mental note is like Josh you're the man you're the man in the house do it Josh you're the, oh. like I, it's literally like as like, I'm like as, as I'm doing, doing more it. of like a household task yeah like a household task or like something that you definitely wouldn't do in right. the house or whatever I'm like I'm so tired. I don't feel like who else is going to do it. That's right. that's literally in my head going the whole time. Like, just do it. And then this actually happened today or yesterday. I think it was this morning because last night I forgot to um, put the girls' food. Oh yeah, and baby, the, baby. I, you know what's so crazy? You were happy to see that it was gone when you no. Went okay, I got up. You guys, really side story. I got up this morning to work out. I left the house at seven. I come downstairs at like 645 and last night I had asked Josh to put a couple things in the freezer before he went to bed. They have like dry eyes. They're still frozen. So like it would have been fine till morning. Just a side note. But anyways, I was like, can you please do that before you come? And then he's like, yes, of course. And then I come downstairs and the boxes are still there. And I'm like, I know this man did not leave these here. Yeah. And my instant thing was to text you and be like, babe, you forgot. But it's just like the thing is, is I know that was like just of my instant reaction of feeling like how could you know whatever like get a type of way, but I knew that you didn't like actually forget. You probably just like didn't. You were like I'll do it in the morning, or maybe you did forget. But yeah. I think that you knew that. You know what I mean. So yeah. I didn't have to text you and be like, oh, you forgot. And it, even if you did forget and didn't know, you would have walked downstairs and saw it. Right. So I actually for a second was like gonna text you, and then I was like, you know what? No. Like when I get to my workout, I'm just gonna text Josh and be like, I love you. Like made it or whatever. That's what yeah. I usually do. And just, like, not make everything such a big thing. And I wasn't going to make it a big thing. But even just as something as simple as that, like, I don't want to be nagging. And I know I can get like that sometimes. I think everyone can. But I was like, what's the point in me telling him that he left it out? For sure. So, yeah. do you like that I did that? Yeah. I mean, okay, so I didn't, yeah. You can I, speak your piece now. No, I genuinely forgot. And okay. um, I, I should have known because you came up so fast. I did come up so fast last night. Um, but yeah, I, it was one of those, I was doing that and then I was doing, I just got the biggest kick. That's my son. It like took my breath away. That's Sorry. my son. Sorry. Come on, okay. boy. Sorry. Get keep in going. Here. Uh, I had to do some like recycle. I had to bring the trash in. I had to do like just some things that I would normally do or whatever. And I'm like in my head, who else is going to do this? Not, I need, I need to be the one to do this and stop, stop being a little punk, bro. Like yeah. just, just get into it. So, um, what was the question? Oh, I forgot. Well, um, do you oh. ever feel pressure? Oh, like being the man of the house and like leading. Do you ever yes. feel like emotionally um, drained? Re- recently, not really like strained or drained or drained. Um, but I have been thinking about it. You kind and of understand the weight of it. Yeah, I am starting to really understand the weight of it. Yeah, like 
it's honestly because of me being a being a father and seeing how Rai is understanding so much now and watching so much of everything that we do. Like, okay, this is this is different. Mm-hmm. This is different than you know just yeah, me and you. She's getting older. So yeah. yeah, I am understanding the weight, and I don't know. I don't. I can't say if it's going to be draining or anything yet, but I do understand that you know what I'm supposed to be doing as as the man of the house. So I like that. I like yeah. hearing you say that. Really? Yeah. Okay. I like you. All uh, right. Get the next question. No, I was just going to. No, I'm, I'm serious. I wasn't trying to be funny because I feel like you. I don't know if you think that you do a good job of this, but I feel so well taken care of. And I know the girls do, too, of course. But I don't have to question even for a second. That you don't have like us girls. That's really good to hear. I feel all. like uh, women should say that often to their to their husband yeah. because I could get, like I said, I can get in my head and understand the weight and stuff that I have, but it's good to know that. Okay. Like I know that covered. without me, not that that needs to be the case, but like if I was nowhere in the picture, I wouldn't question your abilities to be a man, not only just a man, but also be a father. And like, for example, you just took right on a trip, just you and her. I wasn't concerned. I wasn't worried. I I'm like, the most comfortable, obviously, leaving her with you. Mm-hmm. When I leave her with anyone else or we leave the girls with anyone else, of course, I'm, you know, I, I'm thinking about it a little bit more. I'm like, right. how are they doing? What are they up to? But, like, I didn't have a single, like, doubt in my mind that you knew exactly everything to do. And then same with just, like, day-to-day stuff. Like, I just know you know you got it. And you do so much for us. Yeah. I feel like it's becoming more apparent, too. I don't know. I, yeah, I think as Rise getting older... Like, we both rely on you, and that's why I've been trying to, like, as the wife and the mom, like, I've been really wanting to get back into cooking and just, like, doing things, like, doing laundry and doing, keeping our house a home and helping it, like, run peacefully and smoothly. Yeah. Because that's the stuff I do actually love to do and I want to do, and that allows you, you know, where you can, like, do more. Sorry. I can move I'm on. sorry. Is my... I'm sorry. I had an itch on my upper belly, and I, like, forgot... Yeah, I, it's, it's I didn't show anything, but I forgot that like it wasn't just me and you in here for a second. I know. OK, sorry. Anyways, I really like you. You're amazing. Thank you, baby. Sorry, you said get the next question. A while. Yeah, you went ham. <laughs> baby, I'm just saying. No, I like that. I like that. I like that. Keep going. Keep I need going. you to know. Fresca. Do you want some? No, oh. not at all. What does he mean when he says she's just different than other girls? How can I be different? I like that question. OK. So I know it's kind of for me in a way, but you can make it. So she's wondering like, you know, when like a guy or say I'm talking about a guy, like say I'm talking about you and I'm like, he, he was just different. Like I just knew. Oh, you know? okay. And so that that's way. like you talking about me. You're like, she's just different. She's just different than all the other girls or whatever. So this girl's wanting to know how can wow, she be different? That is a good question. Isn't that good? That's loaded though, because there's so many ways to be different. Um, whew, what can be my answer with that? You just, honestly, I feel like you just, you're very confident in who you are as a person. So I'm answering this, sorry. I'm answering this. I was going to say, that's very sweet, but. No, not to you. Okay. I'm just saying, like, that's what how you can you be different? Okay, so be confident in who you are. Yeah, so the, how you can be different, she said. Um, you just seem confident in who you are. You're not wavering. Nothing wavers your decisions, especially like if we're talking dating phase and I'm talking to you and you don't seem like you have a certain, you don't have a, uh, a certainty. Yeah. Certainty in your answers or like the, what I'm saying is persuading you. I used to, to be like that. Really? Well, just with like silly little stuff, like you would order your ice cream and I'd be like, I'll get the same thing. No, not that. I'm talking about like when you're getting to know somebody, oh. let's say you're talking about like like values oh, like, oh, and stuff like okay. that. And like a little bit more. Deep. Yes. Yeah. So it, it, it seems like you're not really certain about life and stuff like that. And uh, so, yeah, that's like one thing I'm looking at that I'm thinking about that makes you different. That makes you stand out from another shorty who is literally just all over the place or whatever. Um, how else can you be different? Um, oh, that's crazy. Well, what would you say for for a guy too? Like, how can you, because if you just want to speak from you, how can you be different? How can you be like, if I'm talking about you, I'm like, he, I don't know. He just hits different. Oh, okay. For the fellas? So, yeah. That's 
She wasn't for the fellas. I know, but I was just saying, it, it, think about it like that because honestly, however, whatever you would say about yourself is probably what you would see in a woman. You yeah. Know? Guys, one thing about me, I'm the queen of sitting on my couch and ordering groceries. Queen. And literally queen. Like, why would I go to the grocery store when I can order on Thrive Market? Yeah. And it's more affordable than if I went to the grocery store. If y'all don't know about Thrive Market, Thrive Market is our go-to for household essentials and groceries. It's so convenient. It's so easy. All you have to do is sit on your couch, go online, and it shows up at your doorstep so quick. I love Thrive Market because I know that they carry the highest quality ingredients and they have just healthy alternative swaps for certain things. Like they have a dupe to like an uncrustable, a healthier version of that. I've been on these late July chips, you guys, the jalapeno Schmacks. lime. They're so good. But then also it's super seamless to shop on there. Like you can go through and filter. You can be like, I want kids snacks. I want pantry essentials, frozen items. It's all just a beautiful experience. I love me a good, healthy snack. I'm a snack girly. You are a snack girly. Also, when you become a Thrive Market member, you are helping a family in need with Thrive Market's one for one membership matching program. It's a win-win situation. A win-win situation. Uh, save time and money and shop Thrive Market today. All you have to do is go to thrivemarket.com slash for us for 30% off your first order, plus a free $60 gift. That's T-H-R-I-V-E market.com slash for us. Thrivemarket.com slash for us. Homie, you're not coming off thirsty. You're not coming off like you need this this woman see so same thing for women yeah, i definitely. think i think it all kind of goes hand in hand yeah um your walk with christ is clearly apparent to shorty um shorty what else uh how else can you be different bro you just you you i guess there's like other ways too like you there's a certain swag about you that people can't really put a finger on it and you're so confident in yourself that it's like take this or or le or leave me. Like yeah. this is that's how you should present yourself. Yeah, I like that. And not for like guys, like you guys not feeling like you have to put on a different front or be someone else because it's never gonna work. Yeah. If you try to be someone that you're not and then you're doing all this extra trying and like doing this whole act. Yeah. Then once you actually get comfortable, you're gonna be like, Oh, actually this is really who I was the whole time. Right. That's good. Get into so it. yeah. I think, I think just I feel like confidence is the main thing that you because you can tell confidence, which I feel like is what we've talked about before. Before you should be in a relationship, you should be like you know whole and like healthy mm -hmm. as yourself. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that goes hand in hand. Yeah, if you yeah. get your singleness season and you feel confident and you feel really good about yourself, then you can bring that into a relationship, and you're not going to be yeah wishy washy. Wishy washy. How long does it take typically for a guy to lose interest? Oh quick like it oh for whoa. me it's quick wait whoa okay i thought this was like i thought your answer was gonna be like oh i'll never lose interest because you're like thinking of me but oh no I, I know what you're saying okay well for me if i don't if you see something you know like yeah you know. unless okay i'll say if there's definitely some history positive history mm -hmm. then it'll take me a second but if there's just something that it I can move on super quick, which is like, I feel like a good and a bad thing. Yeah. Cause it's, but not uh, necessarily. I feel like that just means that you're sure in what you want. Yeah. And I think that's actually a good thing, even though it can be harsh sometimes. Yeah. I feel like if a guy is still seeming interested in you, then I would, and if you're still interested in him, I would use that as like a foundation of like, okay, let's try to figure this out. But if one of y'all aren't interested, there's no point. There's literally no point. Yeah, for sure. Because you can't beg someone or you don't want to be. You yeah. don't want to be in that position of trying to convince someone to like you or mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. to like all of you. Because yes. sometimes it just, sometimes the math just doesn't math and it just doesn't. And it just doesn't work out. It just doesn't add up. You're just trash. So. Oh, okay. I didn't say all that. Sorry. Okay. Is it a common misconception that all men have a high sex drive? Uh, yeah, I think it's a com They said it's Wait, a common. She, okay, she said that all men have a high sex drive. It's such oh. a common misconception. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I'll just talk about it. So yeah, like, do you, do you think that all men have a high sex drive? No, because yes, there are times where us as men, but it also could be women too. 
are really wanting to have sex with um, their partner. How does it, how does this become such a, like, because this is such a known thing that men love sex, men want it's, sex all the time. Why it, is it? I think it's because of the way that men uh, sexualize women. Okay. And I mean, women do it too, but we're talking about men, but the way men, you know, look at women or, you know, we're looking at your right, butt your or body, your boobs. Yeah. There's like things like that. And the, how dudes are cat calling women on the street and stuff like that. So I think it comes from that. there because it seems like all we want to do is just get inside your pants. Okay. And yeah, so I think that's where it comes from. But yeah, I think that's because like, there are speaking from a married man. It would be amazing if I just had the drive of like, babe, let's just like every single day, 15 times a day. Like, let's just go. Let's Why would just... that be amazing? I mean, it would. I mean, like, that's the that's what everyone thinks is the dream. Well, yeah. So, but is that true? though? No, right. not, not, no, I'm saying like, that's what, what. Well, people not even the dream. People think that men like that's what they want. No, no, I, that's not what I want, because right. what's that going to do for you at the end of the day? Like, obviously, intimacy in that way is great. God intended for it to be a great thing. And. But it's, intimacy in other ways is yeah, definitely. There's like, other ways to intimacy, but there's also like life. There's work. There's well, yeah, of course. That's what I'm saying. Like all of that stuff can't happen yeah. if you're all you're thinking about is wanting to, you know, have a have a high sex drive and yeah. Do you feel like you ever don't want to have sex? Yeah, that's like, what I'm saying. That's like what if I if I like came on to you <laughs> right now. <laughs> Right now, is that's a different thing. I know, right now, I'm sorry. That was but long. like... No, I'm saying just like, you would turn me down. I feel like you would not turn me down. And turn me it's down. circumstantial, though. Like Yeah, it's I guess if you're like... If I'm working or, or yeah, if yeah. I have a... If, yeah, headache or... But I just feel like us girlies, like, we get... Y'all turn have, us down so quick. No, no. See, that's... But that's the misconception, too, because it's like, I feel like... And that's something, honestly, that I don't think should be... Like, it's a thing, like, women, what, your stomach hurts every night. Like, I've literally seen TikToks where it's like, oh, it's time to get in bed. Oh, my stomach hurts. Oh, my head hurts. Oh, this or that. Yeah. And I don't think that's something to be proud of or even something to be, like. If you're doing it on purpose. Yeah, no, for sure. That's, like, horrible. You should never, like, withhold sex from your partner. Even if you're, like, mad at them. That's actually, like, the opposite of what you, you should do. Right. But, anyways, I feel like I, like, I would be more inclined but I guess it's because I'm pregnant right now. I don't know. To like be like, oh, I don't feel good or my back hurts or this or that. Yeah. But that's just like the reality of our situation right now. But I don't know. I was just curious if there's times where you would be like, no, I don't want to have sex. But is this getting too personal? No, I'll stop it if it does. Okay. That's good. Okay. Are men telling the truth when they say that their wife is the most beautiful woman in the world? Oh, <coughs> wow. Um, oh. Drop the water. <laughs> you Okay. Are we telling the truth? Yeah. I mean, I'm telling the truth. It's Here's the thing. When you find your wife or a person that you're really in love with, she is the most beautiful person in the world. Looks or no looks. Right. Because it's there's so much looks. stuff that comes with that person. So because of that, you are literally the most beautiful person in the world and you're my person. That's another thing because you're my person and I'm in love with you. It doesn't get more beautiful than that. So, um, it like all of that, what I'm trying to say, all of that trumps, a like a, a person, like a, a person who's like pleasing to the eye, like a woman who's pleasing to the eye, all of that trumps that. Cause it literally makes you feel, I don't know. It's hard to explain the feeling, but it literally makes me feel like, you are the most beautiful person in the world. So like you would never look as a married man. You'd never look at, let's just say like another woman, Kim and, Kardashian. Right. And be like, and be like, I really wish I could like get to know her. Cause she's so beautiful. Get to know her is crazy. Well, but okay, like, sorry. or just think she's right, more okay. beautiful than my wife. Well, no, I'm just saying, yeah. Or even like, yeah, I guess think that's not really what the question was. Huh? Yeah. Just you where are you going? I like, I like where you well, going. Well, I was just curious if, you see, it doesn't have to be Kim Kardashian because, okay, she's literally a celebrity, but, like, a random person you see at a coffee shop. Married. Yeah, you're married. And you see, like, this beautiful woman, and you're like, hmm, I, I'm curious, like, what it would be like to know to know her. Just because of her looks. Yeah. No. That wouldn't happen. No. But 
the other answer, the other question is like, just because someone looks pretty, um, what's the initial question? Just because they look pretty. Well, is it, is it true? Oh, that is it that they're better? Yeah, no, I don't. No, is it true that your wife's the most beautiful woman? In the yeah, world? right. And just because someone else looks pretty doesn't make. I I can't. I'm not comparing. There's no. There's right. no comparison when it comes to that. So, uh, yeah, you're the most beautiful person to me in the world. That's so, really sweet. you are the most beautiful person in the world. Thank you. To me, is always like a backhanded. To me, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, to yeah, me, to me. to me. I mean, it is to me though. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, what are your thoughts on the husband being in slash either being there or slash not being there during childbirth? Uh, I guess that's also circumstantial because like he chose not to be there. Yeah. Let's, let's go do with, that. Yeah, yeah. Cause obviously we know if, if your husband is working deployed, like whatever the case, like actually can't be there, then that's different. Yeah. Cause that's, um, but yeah, if so. he's choosing not to be there, and I'll give and I'll say if it's for like a medical reason, like maybe he's he literally can't do it. He mm-hmm. will pass out. He's queasy. He can't even be in the room. Like if it's a medical, then yeah. But if you're straight up choosing not to be in the room with your wife, bro, what is your problem? You That's ain't even bad. doing nothing, homie. You're just all you You don't even have to look. I They ask me if I want to look. You don't have. Wait, to, didn't you see before? Yeah. I've yeah. Looked, oh, uh, yeah. yeah. OK. Um. But yeah, you don't have to. You can be at the top. Of of the bed with your wife, holding her, encouraging her, being with her. Why wouldn't you want to be in there? Yeah, that's and true. unless it's like a your wife doesn't want you in there, and your wife wants you know her mom in there or something like that, then that's a whole different story. But if that was the case, I would be fighting to be in there. It's the birth of your kid. It's it's you why and your better not ever be the case for us. No, like in general. Oh, that some, is the case. People like want well, their moms well, in there I and know not. a lot of people want their mom. And not it, the husband. I have never heard that. I feel like I've seen that more than I've they heard, just need their mom. I've heard they definitely want their mom, but they also want their husband, of course. I'm sure, obviously. But even if that's the case, it's like, for me, I, I don't. Why do you need your mom in there? Oh, really? That's that's me. I I get that. I feel like. So it's just like a preference thing. They want the extra support. And that's when people hire like doulas and stuff like that. I Yeah, I guess. But, but a I mean, doula like, is different than your mom. But like though. for you, if I was like what I wanted for like my birth plan was like you and my mom in the room. I don't think you would be like, no, I don't want that because you would honor what like I wanted. Yes, but I'll give you back. I would push back. Really? It wouldn't be easy. That's crazy. That's controversial right there. Really? Oh, yeah. Because it's it's the woman's body. It's her thing. It's basically you're undergoing a traumatic, it c- could potentially be a surgery, and you're trying to tell her that she can't have who she wants in the room. Yeah. That's pretty crazy, baby. It'll be a conversation. That's pretty bad. It'll be, that's bad? <laughs> no, it's just a conversation no. that I would want to have. Oh, wow. That's all. Okay. I don't want to have a conversation right now. Oh, you don't want to? No. Okay. You want to have the conversation right now? No, I was just saying that I'm just letting you know that. I would, ha- I would propose a con- I'm not saying that I would be like straight up no, but I'm just saying I would want to know why. I want to know like the situation because it's different. Like we know what it's like to be in the room. So for wh- for me, after these past two, I don't see the need for anyone else to be in the room. Yeah. No, so that's I, where I mean, that's where I'm coming from. Well, I never wanted, like I only just wanted you. To yeah, I know. Yeah. That's all I've ever wanted. So it doesn't like affect me personally but i'm just i just know for sure like a lot of my friends a lot of people like anyone or a lot of people that i know and don't know they're just like yeah i just want like my mom and my husband or like my sister and even you know whatever like they want certain people in the room and i feel like that shouldn't even really be a conversation because i think that they're entitled to want who they want in the room definitely entitled but i feel like I'm, i'm also entitled because it's my kid that's true so that's why I would say I would have a conversation. That's true. That's all. But you wouldn't say no. You no, would just, I wouldn't be like. You would just want to know like, why. What would be my reason why not? Right. Because it's, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. I would just want to talk. But I mean, your reason could be why not, which is like my reason of why I only wanted you in the room is just like that intimate moment for just like the two of us to share. Oh, yeah. I can go with that. So like, but like if I'm just straight up. No. Yeah. Like, bro, <laughs> let's talk about it. Yeah. But that's crazy. I feel like. I don't know. I mean, I do see what you're saying, like why why it can be a conversation. Yeah. But I feel like some women would be like, no, my husband doesn't get a say. Like I get to choose. 
See, that's where I think there's some other problems in in the marriage. Really? Bef- yeah, or wow. a relationship. But we don't have to talk about that. Okay. What was the question? We that's not even the question. Who knows? Well, I'm trying to remember which one we just did. Oh, I don't know. You don't got them up. You the one conducting this interview. I do got them up. Bros before girls. What's the tea? What you wanted to say was bros before the. Ah! Maybe. <laughs> what is Ouch. it? Bros before girls. Yeah. The person's a good Christian person. Okay. For saying it. What's the tea? What's the tea? There is no tea. Why you ask me that question? It's uh, in what context? Like, what are we in third grade? My wife over everything. Well, no, babe. Okay, I know. I will start. Let me just ex- explain. Explain. Because obviously, definitely not as a married man. But if you're talking dating relationship, I don't know. No. That concept is like old. That, that is. concept is literally middle school and immature high school. That's true. Because if gonna, you. Well, I was going to try to say, like, if for someone that would agree. That maybe they need to put their bro before their girl. Why would you do that? Yeah, why would you do that? If you're pursuing her to be your wife, that's if you're true. pursuing her to like, why would you do? They that? will. The bros will be there. Like, that's what true. are y'all doing? That's gonna help your relationship. Unless you go into a doggone Bible study talking about finding your future wife instead of going then. But like, if there's nothing that you doing, that's more important. It's more important than you know, building a relationship with your, with your. Uh, Significant other. You got me messed up. Do guys like rom-coms? Are you kidding me? I'm sorry. Yeah, that's exactly what I think about rom-coms. I had to yawn, but I couldn't get out because I got the nervous yawns. Do you get the, do you get the nervous yawns? We've talked about this, no. That's crazy. I couldn't actually <coughs> even yawn. You don't what like rom-coms? What are you rom-coms? nervous about? I was nervous to yawn because I knew you were going to be like, why are you yawning? Oh. And because I'm on camera. Um, it's not that I don't like them, but they're just, they're not, that's not my first cup of tea. The question was, do you guys like rom-coms? Do, do guys, guys, guys like guys? rom-coms? Probably. Yeah. I mean, love a good... I, I do like a good relationship movie. I like to like see the, like how their relationship dynamic is. and But... Would you ever read a rom-com book? You would never read a book in general. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not a fiction book. Would that's, you ever read a fiction that's novel? That's wild. No. Because I can't... No. My imagination isn't... For a book, is just not there. What do you mean? It's not an imagination. You have to envision that. You don't have. It's a story. I know, but you have to like picture it. Like you're reading a book right now and I know you picture it, but it looks something different in someone else's head. Uh, I can't. I don't want to do that. I'm too too lazy to do that. Too lazy? That's too much work. Because then after I get done reading, I got to put it down and then go back to my normal life. You would never read a fiction novel. I mean, I wouldn't say never. I mean, I have because in you, life. One could argue that a fiction movie, a, then you should never watch a movie. A movie's different. I can just watch it in a couple hours and be done with it. A book <laughs> is, I have to, like, it's too much for me. Oh. That's all. But you do like rom-coms. I, yeah, I, I like them. You would watch them with me. I would watch a rom-com with you. We do. We like, yeah, like, what's the one that we watched that we were laughing so hard? Oh, The Wrong Missy. Yeah. That's, that's a rom-com? A, that's definitely a rom-com. Oh. Because... I mean, think about it. Most movies have some sort of love interest going on. So even like a comedy, there's going to be some sort of love story in there. Is right? the notebook rom-com? No, that's not a comedy. That's just romantic. Yeah. What do you want? What? That's from the notebook. It is? Why do men expect women to do all the household chores and less asked? I don't expect you to do them. I know, but you I know want you to don't, do them. But why? Do like, men? It's just like a more of a general thing. Um, why do we? Because ex- maybe they're coming from the point like they do so many other things. Yeah. Like they do some things that you can't do. So. But then the wife could argue and say she does things that you can't do. I know. I'm just saying maybe that that's where that guy is coming from. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt, and not that he's a douchebag. Well, okay. I feel like it's tricky, and I can't really imagine how we would navigate this. Actually, no, I can. I was going to say, just speak to more so if it's a more of a role of you worked a nine-to-five and, like, I'm a stay-at-home mom. But, no, like, just because I stay at home, that's technically still, like, a job at the end of the day. And you coming home from work, you can't just come home and just kick back. No. But I feel like that's the way that some men really do think. Yeah. and. I can t- I can understand why they would think that way because they're working all day and they're tired, but then they have to look at their wife and be like, "Wait, you're working all day with these kids. Mm-hmm. 
you're tired too. Right. So, but yeah, I feel like you definitely, I mean, you definitely don't think that I should do everything. That wouldn't be, that wouldn't be working for me over here. Ah, shorty. <laughs> How to allow men to feel comfortable being vulnerable and comfortable with their feelings. Is that for you? Oh. Well, I guess so. Well, no, how, I, I guess that w- technically was for me, but how do, how does like a woman, like how do I make you oh. feel comfortable, allow you? Because we actually, I thought this was a good question because when we were dating, we kind of struggled with this sometimes because I remember you would just like shut down if you were feeling a type of way about something yeah. <clears throat> and th- you wouldn't open up to me. I think it just, this is like pretty easy. I feel like it just comes with uh, seeing like a cycle and just like instilling, um, it's just certainty behind s- scenarios that happen in our relationship. So if I come to you with something and you react a certain way and then uh, I do it again and again, and it's not the reaction that makes me feel comfortable, then I feel like that person is just not going to want to open up or whatever. So how do you create a safe space? I mean, if it becomes a problem, I feel like, uh, Two things can happen. The woman can be proactive and be like, okay, how do you want me to go about making you feel safe? Or the guy can be like, let's sit down. I need to talk to you and let you know how you can make me feel safe. I think it's that easy. It's not as as easy as I just said it, but um, literally just you got to you got to tell them if they can't, if they're just not getting it, if they're not like that nurturing type of person who can create a safe space. You kind of just got to just lay it out for them or read a book together. <laughs> what are your thoughts on dating single moms? Or like, not your thoughts, I guess, because. But dating single just like moms? What's yeah. got like guys. I mean, if you if you're ready to to be a, a dad or not a dad, just be like in that. A father figure. A father figure. Then by all means, don't let that stop you from. Uh, being with being with that woman. If I was single, I would date a single mom. Yeah, but I, I'm. But that's me though, because I love lo- I love kids, and I, and and if I didn't have any kids, yeah, I, I would definitely do that. Yeah, but I feel like you can't. You're not dating or marrying that kid. Mm-hmm. Granted, I can understand a woman say like, if they don't accept my kid, if my kid doesn't like them, then. But I don't think the woman should go in with that mentality personally but do you think it's a red flag if for the woman if the man is just like yeah i can't date you because you have a kid obviously yeah yeah definitely a red flag um i thought you're gonna say do i think it's a red flag if the woman comes like yo we're a package deal type vibe but like and it's kind of blocking her from being open to the husband to the man or like she just can't fully do i think she has a right obviously that's her kid but if you are giving me the time of day, like you want to date me to marry and we want to well, do this, then I need I need a little bit more. Yeah, you, well, you have to come not even just like more. You have to come gracefully with the situation. You can't be like, it's me and my daughter because that's period. Like because like yeah, you said, the, the man isn't dating the child. No. So, yes, it's a huge part, like probably, the, you know, like the main priority in their life. But you still have to understand that, like, you have to be able to pursue. You have to be in a position to be able to pursue a relationship if that's what you want. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. It's really good. Do men really know on the first six months if they'll marry you? Is three years with no ring a red flag? Um, I don't know you personally, but it ain't take me no three years. That's all I know. Three years is a red flag to me. Yeah. If you've talked about marriage, if you both know you want to get married, there's no, like, reason why you wouldn't be engaged. Unless, I mean, there are circumstances, like, if he doesn't have the money. Well, no, because you don't even need a ring to get engaged. You don't need a ring. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he's afraid of commitment, but... Well, yeah. If that's someone is asking, is it a red flag? It probably it is. is a red flag. That's true. Because that means y- you're asking us and you need to be asking him like, homie, where my ring at? 
and maybe it hasn't been a conversation or something, but if you're wanting that and he wants you, that's what I'm saying, bro. If he wants you, he would literally, he would, he would. If he wants to, he would, he would do whatever. And if not, and if he can't, he will let you know that and give you a timeline or something. He will make you feel comfortable. If he wanted to, he doggone will. Straight like that. Straight like that. What you over there doing? Sorry. Um, why do we hear growing up that when he's bullying you or like teasing you, giving you a hard time, whatever, that means that he's flirting? I want to know this too. I never did that, but why did dudes do that? But girls do it the other way too. Y'all like in high school, like y'all play, yeah, y'all play hard to get, or y'all like flip my hat off and like run away. But like you really trying to give me a kiss in between second and third hour, you playing games, and um, so yeah, why did homies do that? I don't know because they're abusive. Josh, yeah. that's crazy. No, but honestly. It is crazy to think it's about. It's like a power trip thing. Well, and like, I, I can just even, it's such like a thing I feel like ingrained, like coming home being like, this did this, this did that, like to me or whatever. And then mm. like your parents are just like, oh, it's because they like you. And it's like, well, that's not how you should treat someone yeah. that you like. And I so, wish Rob would come home. I know. And she'd be like, I like him, but he's like. He like does this to me. He just like pushes me. Pushes is crazy. I will beat another kid's kid, another parent's kid. He's not going to be able to go back to school. I will beat another parent's kid. The kid? Yeah. Oh, I thought, oh, jeez. I'll beat a parent, too. Uh, yeah, no, I thought you were saying the parent. I'm, I'm like, talking no, high school, but I will beat up a kid. Oh, okay. But a kid? Yes. Like a five-year-old. Not a five-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> that is not even funny. Okay. Why do guys like provocative pictures of other girls on social media while they're in a relationship? Why do we like them? Like, Heart them? Yes. <sighs> Maybe these questions. I don't know. No, I love it. It's, it's, it's a, well, I, I know. Don't. It's not me. It's, it's not for you. Yeah, yes. You have to take yourself back. I used to do that. I used to do that. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> that's not funny. Oh, sorry. At all. <laughs> why do we do it? Um, I don't know why we do it. Maybe I I will say I didn't see no harm in it. The confidence with my hydrogen. <laughs> It's crazy. Like, you're literally holding that like it's yours. All right. I don't, I didn't see any harm in liking the pictures. That's the first problem. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I didn't see any harm. So, Wait, that's so why they even kept but, doing it. But now you see the harm. Definitely. Especially right. if you don't oh, want me to do it right. either. Because there's some people, they'd be like, oh, I don't care that he follows him. He got this right. at the crib. So, we good. But, like, I'm not. There's just also, there's just no need for me to do that either. Right. I think it's also a maturity thing. Because, yeah. like. If he's doing it and like that's his, because also he's probably watching porn. Because right. I would, I was double tapping and then double tapping. Oh my god! And then like that was, but like that's just his way of just you know, like it's a it's, it's, it's a comfort it's a, way it's of a like comfort lusting thing. Lusting and yes, it's the same kind of concept. Yes, he's just comfortable in doing that, and that's just that. But if you need to have a conversation with him, let him know that you don't like that. Then straight like that. But while we did it. I, for me personally, I didn't think it was a problem. So that, that's why I did. Is our garage open still? Yeah. Okay. Cool. That's crazy. Um, yeah. No. That. But that's valid though to to say that you didn't think it was a problem because honestly, some guys may have that same exact mindset, and then it's just something that needs to be a conversation. Yep. If if as a woman you don't feel comfortable with certain things, whether it's as silly or seems as silly as just like Instagram, bring it up and and you know like don't bring that because then you end up resenting it and it's a whole. Oh, shebang. Okay. We're ending on this one. Oh, Are, nice. Are we not ending? Yeah, we can. Okay. <laughs> if he wanted to, he would. I just said this. Is that a true statement for all males? Oh, you did? I've just said it like 20,000 uh, oh. times. You was over there oh, actually, no. texting oh, sorry, or something. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, but I just wanted to end on this because it's a fresh concept in our life right for now. For sure. For sure. And I feel like. Wait, why is it a fresh concept? Maybe. No, they don't know. They don't, like, it can't be me. No, it's, yeah, sorry, it's not you. Yes, it's just a, a person in our life. Yes, and it just, that statement couldn't be more true, period. Yes, it's real. Same, same thing goes for women. If she wanted to, she would. There's no, there is absolutely no reason, if you want a relationship, if you want to pr pursue someone and you want to marry them, or, like, Yeah, if you do, then you would do whatever, and period. if you- 
if you're saying that you want that person and you can't do, you can't do it. Like you can't, then you don't if want you wanted them. to, yeah, then you don't want them. Yeah. I, it's very simple. It is. I really it's don't under, it's, it's, simple it's so simple. And I, I will say this because there's respect to people who like, it's like it, they can't just let them go, obviously. And because of, you know, you just can't let them go. But because we're on the other end of it, and because I've seen it work for other people, it is that easy as in if he wanted to, if she wanted to, they would literally do whatever. Well, and honestly, like, even if I just think about our relationship and the things that we've been through, the things that have tried us, there's times where we both could have been like, no, it's too much. Like, we can't do it. Right. Because we don't want to. Because the easier thing to do would probably be to just call it quits. Right. It's going to take way more work and time and trust to rebuild, to fix. But we want it to. Yeah. And some people are just like, they don't want to. Then, you- But if you're, like, stringing the other person along and, like, just... That's where I get frustrated. Yeah. Because it's like, just... You be the man, you be a grown adult if it's a, if it's the woman. You be the woman and just be like, I can't, I literally can't give you what you want. Well, so we got, I got, I have to bounce. Well, it's not even just that because I think that is a sorry excuse and a sorry reason. I think they need to swallow their pride and be like, this, I, I don't want to be with you. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what they need to do. They yeah. need to just straight up say it. I can't. to they, say, I can't give you, you deserve better, blah, 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 blah. That's great. Yeah. But you can be that person if you yeah. want to be that person. I'm just saying, don't string me along, though. Yeah. Like, don't be, like, in and out. Because, like we said, if you wanted to, you would. If he wanted to, he would. Straight like that. If he wanted to, he would. Bro, what is you doing? He's so loud. Sorry. All right. We can end on that note. Okay. What is you doing? He's going crazy. What's Why going do you crazy? look good with braces? What? Why do oh, you look like this- that? Baby. Because you're a baby. Because you're a little kid. Can you say I look good? I'm really in Baby, yes. I don't care. You're school. so baby, you're so cute. Okay. You said I look good. So you would have liked me in elementary school? Yeah, I would have loved you. You're so cute. You would have like dated me in elementary school? Yeah. I would have been like, where my hood? Hug. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, we love y'all. That was fun. Thank you. You're I'm gonna welcome. have to do the opposite. <laughs> Thank you. Have I ever put you in the hot seat? I think I'll be have. interviewing you, but I need to put you in the hot seat though. You do How about the fellas. Maybe I got y'all. But uh, we love y'all. Um, <laughs> I don't know what Savannah was doing. <laughs> we'll uh, see y'all next week. Bye.